Hey everybody and welcome to the Tryhards Podcast. My name is Pokey Plays. I'm Jenny Boy Games. And uh, we are not in the same room together for once. Yeah, because social distancing is a thing and yeah. we have to use Discord. So because of a certain public health crisis that's been going on, uh, we can't really go out <laughs> yeah, much. That, unless it's it hard. sucks. Yeah. Um, also, you turned your volume up. Why? Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. But, um, but yes, we're having to use Discord and everything. Uh, we've been having this going on for, what, about, I want to say two, two to three weeks so far? Yeah, two to three weeks, I'd say. Um, and it's supposed to end in two, which is nice. So at least mm. it's not permanent. Um, but yeah, so we're in a different place. Um, we will be probably drinking some fluids during these recordings because it's important. Yeah. But, um, so how have you been, Jean? I mean, it's been, and we haven't seen each other in t about three weeks as well, so how you been? Uh, well, mostly all right. These past couple of days, like, <clears throat> my depression and anxiety have been going up because, like, obviously, I'm staying indoors. It's all the same day just repeating there's no differences that i would usually expect so i'm just in here having many like panic attacks whenever i'm just doing nothing so you're so. starting to get like i guess would say some cabin fever from being indoors too much yeah i guess i guess that would be a way of saying it yeah yeah unfortunately uh i don't get too too much of this social distancing during the health crisis because i have to work ah. i'm considered essential But, um, I mean, we thought we'd do a podcast real quick, just so that, one, you and me can catch up. And, uh, two, just kind of talk about what's been going on. I mean, we did say, I think, in the, did we say in the last podcast that was supposed to be a convention we were going to and it got canceled? Yeah. So that convention got canceled, um, pretty quickly, actually. We were almost, uh, we were a week away from the convention starting. And, yeah. uh, it just got canceled. Which, uh, that kind of sucked, but I mean, that means that one, we can go to the next one, and I mean, that's pretty much a guarantee that once this is over and everything, we, we're going to a convention. Yeah. Um, we, we would need it. Yeah, we need... It's like, we hey, need social support. distancing is no longer a thing. Let's all stand in a room together. Yeah, let's just go stand in a room together and, uh, have fun. Because I'm tired of, uh, I'm, I'm honestly tired of it being like this the entire time. Yeah, I 100% agree with you. Um, a lot of businesses are shutting down too. I mean, there's a uh, there's a lot of places that you can only pick up food that's takeout. Um, so you can't dine in or anywhere. So anyone who's getting lunch outside, they have to uh, go back to their work to eat or sit in their car. And then uh, stores. I mean, still can't buy toilet paper, which is funny to me. Yeah. Um, the stores are insane at the moment. They're getting they are. less and less insane, but still, people are still stocking up at toilet paper. So everyone's celebrating the end of the world, Bobby Hill style is basically what's going on. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Everybody turned it into a meme. Because, okay, the way that it had started was from Australia. People started fighting over toilet paper. And then all of a sudden people are like, oh god, the Australians, no, we need toilet paper for the social distancing. And so everybody grabbed as much toilet paper as they could, and that was how the toilet paper crisis began. I did not know that. Um, I do Two know that, Australian women. <laughs> I do know that the plague started because of uh, a bunch of... Or I do know that the plague started in China, I didn't know that part, but I didn't know that Australia was the reason that the uh, toilet paper was going out. Yeah. Uh, it was two Australian women just fighting over toilet paper. Why? Why would you know. do that? It's like Black Friday, but not on a Friday. And it's not a Black Friday. I don't know. Well, uh, I got, I got an important question for you, since it's the beginning of the podcast and all. Okay, I am ready. Stupid people, drunk, man, women, Viagra, lawyer, old age, prostitute, golf, gay, business, animal, or husband and wife jokes. Let's do some husband and wife jokes. Husband and that wife. That should be funny. Which page does that start on? 
And of course, with you not being here, I can't throw the book at you, which kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah, sadly. But that just means that uh. I'll have to go out and buy my own book. Well, well you know what? We probably will do that at one point because uh, we don't know how long this crisis is gonna last. Yeah. All right. Uh, pick a number one through ten. Nine. Nine. Seven, eight, nine. Marriage is a three-ring circus. The engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffer ring. Uh, <coughs> is that it? Mm-hmm. That was weak. Okay. It was... Uh, it was, it's, that was it's short. It was short. Mm -hmm. Still loved the. Uh, I still love the. Uh, where is that old woman with a sore tooth? That's a good. Such a good joke. I'm just gonna read this one off real quick. A man inserted an advertisement in the classified. Wife wanted. The next day he received a hundred letters. They all said the same thing. You can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good. That that I, fe I felt like you would enjoy that one. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that one, that had that oh, yeah. had to have some enjoyment in it. Oh yeah, that was nice. But um, I mean, I guess we could talk about how we've been coping with the whole crap going on. Um, so you yeah. said you've spent most of your time at home. Um, have you all managed to get any of your supplies that you needed? Y'all still eating well? Yeah, we're everything's all fine and dandy over here. Uh, the thing that, like, I have problems with is mainly just our house, which luckily we're moving soon, so that's great. I'm gonna need that address once you figure out where you're moving. Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, I, I was just about to say, like, the second we know where we're moving, I'm like, alright, this is the new Jean's fucking house, so. Yeah, I need to change the name on the map. <laughs> yeah. For those who are unaware, his name, my, the name of my house on his GPS is Gene's fucking house. I mean, or used would, to be. He changed it, it to Gene's house. Yeah, actually, I think I changed it to your actual name because Google wouldn't let me use uh, Google Assistant to find your house. Why? Yeah, because it wouldn't, uh, it would rec wouldn't see Jean or Jean as a name. Oh. So it wouldn't recognize it. Kind of weird. Yeah, it's. I mean. It's pretty odd. Again, I don't know many people named Gene, so... Billy Gene! You know. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I mean... Like the Dr. Pepper commercial. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> It's the freaking... It's sweet! <laughs> that one, I'd dude. I don't to, know. I'd it's the sweet one! My dad will yell that throughout, like, my actual biological father will yell that throughout the house whenever I visit him. He just goes, hey, it's a sweet bird. Freaking hell. Well, I, I, think, I think the best soda that's... commercial is still the one of Sprite Cranberry. Oh, dude, nothing will top Sprite, Sprite Cranberry. Cranberry. Freaking, I remember uh, y'all telling me about Nintendo one time y'all were playing uh, Murder in VR Chat. Yeah. And uh, the door was opened and Nintendo was just in there and he went, you want a Sprite Cranberry? I don't have a clip of that, unfortunately, but that's, that was that was great. That was so nice. <laughs> I remember um, I had a friend in school who walked in class, and the teacher was like, Hey, good morning, and he just goes, Want to spy cranberry? <laughs> it's great, though. <laughs> but, I mean, a good meme. I mean, other than really working and whatnot, I mean, I'll agree with you. Uh, it, it's kind of become repetitive, and I'm kind of hoping it's over soon. Yeah. I'd kind of like to get back in the groove of, you know, hanging out and whatnot. Um, yeah, that would be, that'd if, be nice. I mean, if it continues for too long, if my work ends up getting shut down because of the post office shutting down, um, I mean, I'll have plenty to read. I've still got, oh. uh, I've still got No Game, No Life, Thanks to Read, and in the next month, uh, the next Dragon Maid manga comes out, so that's good. Oh, nice. Just have to see how, uh, all that goes around. Hopefully yeah. it goes out okay. I mean, obviously, we do have time that, like, we can spend doing stuff. Like, obviously, we can 
played games online or talked to friends or hell I've been we've both been listening to a lot of music however I've been listening to some different music so, so you've it's been telling nice me to get some variety you uh, told me you listened to a lot of you've still been listening to a lot of Eden which is <sighs> I mean you and I you both listen to him but what other thing music yeah. have you been listening to let's get into that um I've been listening to this uh, YouTube only it's I'm not gonna say it's like a mini, like it's like a tiny music channel because they have, I think, like a hundred thousand subscribers. Okay. However, uh, it's this re- they make a lot of like really good music, and it's not like oh, um, it's more like rap-ish style, but it tells a story with it. All right. And what's this? Uh, what's and this kind it of mostly goes off of like drug usage and stuff like that. Like Ooh. it's really good. Okay. stuff and it's called rare americans and it's really good i will have to take a listen to them um seems like it would be an interesting thing i've shown you um kind of more of what i've been listening to i did listen to uh did you listen to jeremy zucker's new album that came out no i have not yet i will have to listen to that it's really good um listen to it in order okay. um it does have some songs that kind of connect to each other which is kind of nice um, I'm not going to yeah. do like we did with No Future, where you can, where we're going to talk about every song on there. But um, Jeremy Zucker, I've been listening to more of him, uh, and I started listening to a guy named Essinger. Yeah, you were you sent me one of his songs two so, days ago. Yeah, his or last night, something like that. So his music, um, tends to, it seems seems to eh, it seems to be on the side of kind of similar to Eden, if Eden did more hardcore type stuff. Or more like, yeah. uh, if, like, during his Eden Project days. If he combined his Eden Project days with now. Okay. That is more of what Essinger is like to me. Okay. Um, but he's also got some Porter Robinson mixed in there, some Maddie on. Um, and that's where the song I sent you, uh, I sent you Get Your Wish. Which is a cover of the Porter Robinson song. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, he, he, he sings real well. The editing he does on his, uh, on his singing and his music is just, it's really good. Yeah. I mean, I guess music is a nice way that we've been able to get through this kind of stuff um, yeah. without having to lose our f- absolute fucking minds. Um, I mean, do you think... I mean, I guess we could say, do you, do you think this is going to last for too much longer? I don't think it will, because... Okay, I have a friend who works in the medical industry. Okay. And... He was telling me, like, well, this is kind of like the flu. So if you've had really bad cases of the flu, your body is more likely to be able to withstand or fight off the coronavirus. And more dangerous than the flu. And it is harder to fight off. However, like I said, if you've had dangerously amounts of having the flu, like if you've gotten the flu, like, a few times throughout your life, you are more likely to be able to fight it off. That's good then. Um, actually, a little bit of a uh, small story. So, um, if you remember back in January or February, uh, there was like a week where I got like really, really sick. Yes. And I told you like it was around that time that uh, a bunch of people at my work and people at home were getting sick as well, and it was after. Uh, my stepfather got back from traveling. Yeah. So, we discovered something about that. Uh, one of the people who got sick at that time went and got their blood tested for uh, COVID-19. Yes. And they found that not only did they have traces of it, but they also already had the antibodies created for it. Oh. So... While I won't go and get myself tested, that was kind of a thing that kind of surprised me. Um, of course, I don't know. I don't remember my symptoms too much. I just remember I was like, it was bad. Yeah. And everyone got affected real bad. Um, I think the person who got affected the most would have been my sister. Uh, she was bedridden. Oh, which one? The younger one or the older one? Uh, older one. Okay. But um, I mean, other than. I mean, things have at least been 
going okay. I mean, people haven't. I mean, people have lost their jobs. That's kind of not great. But yeah, it's really not. There's some uh, jobs that have opened up as well. Um, unemployment's able to be gotten pretty quickly. Yeah. And uh, on a little bit of good news, uh, something just got plugged into my computer. Sorry about yeah. that background noise, guys. Kind of weird. Um. So on a little bit of good news, um, we can actually go and see how many cases there are uh, in the U.S. Um, the number that we are at right now is 750k, which is not great. However, Slight it's awful. going... It looks like the new rate has started to flatten out. Um, so, like, the number of new cases is starting to flatten out, which is good. Yeah. Um, and I like the fact that also... Um, I mean, a lot of people have been uh, figuring out methods to help with this. Like, um, there's been a new mask that's been made that helps out with the filtration of it, which is now necessary since it's now airborne. Yes. Um, and also, people are starting to leave... Uh, like large checks like their entire like so we live in the US um, if you're above the age of 18 you got a stimulus check and you filed your taxes um, so a lot of people are actually just taking that money and using it to tip the waiters at like essential businesses which wow. I, found, I found really nice um, oh, that's, that's a little bit of a little nice. bit of good news it's been going on yeah um, but I mean, we know this can't last forever, and it's honestly, it was blown out of water. Um, the main issue with it is that it's so easy to get infected. Yeah. But, I mean, as long as you had just kept your distance and washed your hands and everything, we probably could have been fine, as long as everyone had just used common sense. Yeah, there was no, well, okay. Coronavirus... It is dangerous. It is something that is threatening. However, it is not something that is as threatening to younger people. That is true. So if um, you are elderly or suffer from respiratory issues uh, like asthma or something like that, then it's more dangerous for you because it attaches the it attaches its, it attaches itself to the respiratory system, and whenever your body starts fighting it, it causes inflammation and pneumonia. So, pretty much, a lot of people didn't take it seriously because it wasn't going to affect them. However, this is a serious epidemic, and we should be taking this seriously, even if we are not of a older age. If you are like me, who I am 13, uh, obviously, I won't get infected too badly. Like, I don't have any asthma or anything like that. Um, so I won't get affected too badly, but I know people who are like that, and that's what I'm worried about, is other people. So be sure that you know to take proper care of yourself, and that other people are taking care of themselves, everything like that. And of course, I mean, you can have the virus and not show symptoms of it. Oh yeah. And, like, say you, you're, you're one of those people who just go into the store or something, and you walk around and everything, and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna get infected, I'm not gonna get infected. If you're carrying that disease and you go near bus nearby somebody who is an under potential risk, that's your fault. It is like, your you fault. Just, like, they're probably doing the best they can to keep it from affecting them, and you just screwed them. And, I mean, that's not that's not a good thing to be dealing with for people. I mean, not everyone can go around and walk around eggshells trying to get away through this. Um, I mean, I don't know which, uh, I don't really know much else to say about the COVID-19 thing. Oh, I, I think we covered I it. Think, I don't think there really is much to say because at this point, everybody really knows of this, you know? Yeah, everyone knows about it. Um, I am, I will say I'm very proud of like the 3D printing community for helping out with it. Yeah. Um, I never expected so many people to help out um like even like my boss at work 
he's begun printing things like uh, the straps for the back of the mask. Um, just to help out with protecting Doctor's ears and everything. He's he's begun doing that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of proud of the things people have done in order to help. Yeah. And it kind of gives me a little bit of hope in the humanity, because, I mean, for a long time it seemed like we were screwed. Oh, yeah. Um, we were completely screwed up, and it was just not not going to work out for us, and once people had seen, oh, there's an epidemic going on and a lot of people are affected by this, it, it's kind of like, so, like their eyes are finally opening to this situation that we're in, and they're realizing that, oh, I can help, I can help someone who's in need, or help people who don't have this kind of stuff. And it's also allowing us to help out with, uh, you know, those who are affected by it. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, we, no one wants to think about someone getting, someone they're close to them getting infected. No, not at all. But it's, it. I mean, it can happen. At this point, with us scanning about 3,000, 30,000 cases a day, it could, it could very easily happen to anyone around us. And we're such a populated community and a populated country. That it's something that we, I mean, we need to take care of. Take care of the people around you. And don't hoard toilet paper, you sick freaks. <laughs> <laughs> if you use the toilet this much, you have a problem. Someone did a math equation on how long it would take a family of four to go through all the toilet paper that people are hoarding. It would take 180 days, or you crapping 180 times per day of this quarantine in order for you to use it all. <laughs> that's so, priceless. So I, I figure that's great. And there's actually a website. I'm going to pull it up real quick. There's a website you can go to to calculate how much toilet paper you will need. Oh, my God. So <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. So if you have, let's say, there's five, let's say you use the toilet five times a day, okay? Yeah. And you get one of those 12 packs of toilet paper. Yeah. You would last 38 days. Yeah. The first thing that it gives you whenever you first open up this page is it showing you that... People are able to use at 180 days worth of toilet paper if they had enough or if they had as much as is being hoarded right now. Jesus. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's a weird concept to me that the one thing that we start hoarding, it's not canned food. It's not, you know, stuff that would last for a long time. It's toilet paper. It's the, we're gonna end up if we go extinct. They're gonna come back to a, the aliens are gonna come down, and freaking look at us and be like, "Dang, they got some clean butts." <laughs> like trying to probe us, and they're like, "Damn, hey. <laughs> damn, <laughs> it's so clean." It's a fucking. This is that meme of those two uh, African American men just going, "Damn." <laughs> <laughs> The entire time that I mean, but seriously, who needs this much toilet paper? Why are you doing this? I I get the hand sanitizer and stuff like that. I really do. Because hand sanitizer can use can uh, English hand sanitizer can be used up fast. Yeah, especially if you like in a big household and everything, because that's not a lot. Yeah, toilet paper. And like. There's, two squares. There's Fold people it in half. Out here. Good. <laughs> there's people out here who are like hoarding like hydrogen peroxide, which is for wounds and stuff. Yeah. And like I understand you're disinfecting and stuff, but dude, I need the hydrogen peroxide and rubbing alcohol for some of the stuff I do. And you're taking it all. I can't pick up any rubbing alcohol at all. And buying it online is like twenty bucks for a bottle. I legitimately saw a post on eBay. Which was a guy selling a single square of toilet paper for a thousand dollars, and someone bought it. You know what? 
How screwed is this community that you need to buy one square of toilet paper off of eBay for a thousand dollars? Do you want us to do, let, let's let's do this right now, okay? Let's go to let's go to eBay. We're gonna filter. We're gonna show. Um, what's the highest price? Let's show. Let's sort by highest to lowest price. That's actually better than I expected. What? Um, so the one that the one that I see is kind of bad. Eighty rolls of toilet paper. Okay. Three ply. Hundred nine dollars. Okay. So bad. Eighty nine rolls of toilet paper. It's not bad. Yeah. But I mean, really, really. So why are you selling eighty nine rolls of toilet paper? Just sell, like, twelve packs for like twelve bucks. Eight packs You're of still toilet paper. Forty two dollars. That is what I like to call retarded. And it's it went unsold. No shh. He had three of them. He had three. He's like, oh, I can make a lot of money by selling toilet paper on eBay. See, I'm like, I guarantee you, if I go to like face, if I go to like Facebook Marketplace or something, like, I could probably look up toilet paper. In fact, you know what? Toilet paper. Now people are actually being, uh, wait. Weight is unsettling. Hold on. Please tell me that's ten dollars for that whole stack of it, not ten dollars a roll. You know, it's like little like, dink, little dink rolls that you can pick up at like dollar stores and stuff. Yeah. It looks like it, I hope that this is ten for that whole set right there. So it's uh, it's about forty rolls of that crap, and it says ten dollars. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I really, really hope that it's not, not that, not trying to sell it by the pound. Did you hear about that guy in Italy who's actually like going door to door and giving people toilet paper? That, that, see, that's a nice guy. Did you hear about the guy in uh, Australia who bought $10,000 worth of, of uh, toilet paper and hand sanitizer? And whenever he, uh, attempted to return it because he realized he's not going to sell it because it's illegal to. They denied yeah. it. Unopened so boxes. So he just has $10,000 of toilet paper and hand sanitizing? Yeah. And dude, near us, um, there was a, there was a truck of $10,000 worth of toilet paper stolen. Just the whole truck. Just the whole truck? The whole truck was stolen for toilet paper. Oh my god. Like, we could go on for an hour talking about the bull crap that people have done during this entire pandemic. People are stupid. You know how we were talking about how we're starting to have faith in humanity again? Yeah, I think I just lost it. <laughs> I think once again we have lost our faith. <laughs> like, it's just like, you know, I get a faith in humanity because we're helping out like hospitals and stuff. But you know what? I look on the internet and I see that people are selling a roll of, do of Donald Trump toilet paper for $14. And I think, ah, uh, never mind, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> that's so like that's so good. That's like what good. the actual? There's a hat that you can buy that says "Make toilet paper available again." Yes. We're 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 gonna have to get that. We're getting this hat. Okay. We're not getting the hat. Okay. Yeah. If there was any faith I had in humanity, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Every last drop. Could be it's worse. Gone. It could be worse. It could be. I worse. don't think anything can be worse than somebody selling a hat that says to "Make toilet paper available again." No, it could be. Could That's be. true. We could all we could all be alive during the Holocaust. The holy crap. Oh my gosh. The second Holocaust joke I've made today. I know. That's great. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, the reason why was because I had saw a documentary last night about um, 
concentration camps about like kids who had actually went on a field trip to the biggest concentration camp. There was a picture of a girl smiling at Auschwitz. Oh, it's like, dear. oh my gosh, I made it to Auschwitz. She's smiling. That woman got freaking thrown. You know she got... She she was the definition of getting yeeted. Yeah. I mean, it's freaking... It's insane. It really is. And I, I just went to go check and see if anything on... Uh, on Twitter was trending that would make any sense for us to talk about. Yeah. So we can keep ourselves, like, kind of... Kind of in the in the know. Yeah. And uh, the only thing I can think of that we could even have a... Uh, a conversation about is the fact that number eleven on on trending on Twitter right now is Cheez Its. Cheez Its. Cheez Its. It's. It's Cheez Its. I'm done. I. Why? <laughs> we have an epidemic where we have thousands of people being infected a day. And the eleventh thing trending on Twitter is Cheez Its. Yeah, I'm. Just... I have I I have no faith in humanity anymore. I. No, I... Just... <laughs> Done, dude. Can I make you lose it even further? Oh dear lord. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna retweet this photo, so that people okay. can see it. Uh, Pokemon Rocks Nine on Twitter. Oh my god. <laughs> but. <laughs> Praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad that I want to make that my Discord profile picture? Do it. But um, <laughs> I'll do it later. I'll do it later. But I'm just freaking. <laughs> I'm so confused why it's why it's trending. There's no there. The only p posts I see are people saying how cheese it's is trending. I don't get it. Like, why? Why is Cheez Its trending? So bad. Oh, dear lord. Who who did this? Who made this? Who hurt you? Is my question. Wait. Apparently, there was. Who hurt you? Okay, found out why it's, it's trending. Oh, lord. So a guy named Randy Rainbow on Twitter okay. posted a picture, or not a picture, but a post. I'm going to retweet this as well. Um, and all it says is, should I buy a Peloton bike or 832 more boxes of Cheez-Its? How? How? How did this just blow up? Cheez-Its have been around for... Ever. I mean, and all of a sudden, it's just now. It's like, oh, Jesus is Jesus Christ. Jesus. <laughs> Nothing will be. Jesus, uh... I want to see a meme on Twitter of a church where everyone in like the seats in church is just boxes of, or no, it's all like boxes of Jesus. And then it's just one giant box of Cheez Its replaced with a cross <laughs> on the wall. That that would be perfect. All right. I've, just no, it's not even a box of Cheez Its. It's just one single Cheez It. I freaking love cheese. the fact that that's that. Out of all the things that could be trending right now, Cheez Its. Like just why? Cheez -Its. Why not? Like honestly, with what faith in humanity is left, why not have this? It, like, it's great. <laughs> it's great. I'm I'm honestly debating on either. Well, I'm gonna do both of this. I'm gonna make that my Discord profile picture, and on top of that, I'm posting that on Instagram. <laughs> that you want, you want to plug your oh Insta? Uh, yeah, Exile underscore Gene. Nice. And uh, here I'm gonna restore our faith in humanity real quick. Uh, barbecue communities de deliver meals in honor of former police officer battling cancer. That's nice. So they That's they nice. delivered a bunch of uh. Or they gave a bunch of barbecue to a uh, man battling cancer. And I, I, my faith in humanity is only slightly restored. 
I would just gotta mail him twenty seven boxes of Cheez Its. Uh, eight hundred and thirty four eight hundred and thirty nine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was saying twenty seven of my own. Because oh, apparently okay. we're stocking up on Cheez Its at this point. It's like screw the toilet paper, we're using Cheez Its. So I have indeed uh I retweeted. So uh, if anyone goes to at Pokemon Rocks Night on Twitter then uh I really uh, appreciate uh, you guys going and checking that out because it's great. And that was that's 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 fantastic. That Cheez Its, Cheez Its are what is trending. Cheez Its are what is trending. Truer words have never been said. Like it could be Final Fantasy VII trending. That would make sense. Or it's fucking Final Fantasy. Tifa from Final Fantasy. I can see that being trending because people are posting ah. fan art of her everywhere. Yeah. But Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. Just Cheez-Its. Think of the alien situation again where instead of toilet paper we use Cheez-Its. Oh my god, hold up. Before I do this, I oh, it took me this long to realize. What? On that praise our Lord and Savior, it's praise. It's praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, but back on topic. The alien situation again. Instead of toilet paper, we're using Cheez Its, and whenever they come to probe us when we're all dead, they go, Damn, that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> it's a lot of cheese. Like, our ass is just gonna be cheese. I'm At okay this point, this. our entire ass is just going to be one wheel of cheese. <laughs> Listen, okay, all I'm going to say is if With that a is, single hole in the center. <laughs> is that if more people ate Cheez-Its, we wouldn't need as much toilet paper. Oh, because it's so dry, it would just clear all of it up. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what would happen. I mean, it's the, I mean technically speaking, that's true. And I'm also going to, uh, I'm going to retweet this photo that I'm going to send you. Just, just like a small side thing. Um, oh, God. I just found this because I was looking for more trending stuff. Hey, Kana. Any more, uh, anything that we find during this? Because uh, we're going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm on Twitter to see if we can find any current events that we can talk about. Okay. Um, I'm going to retweet anything that we talk about on here so that they can have like a visual representation because we don't do video. Yeah. Um, for obvious reasons, we don't do video podcasts. Because if we did, we couldn't do this. Yep. We would be uh, kind of SOS. <laughs> um, I will. I will mention one thing based on our last podcast. Um, did you watch the untitled music video? Untitled came up with a music video. Untitled I that, uh, has a music video. Now. I I just knew that Good Morning had a music video. I didn't know that they released one for Untitled. So Untitled has a music video to go with it now. And I'm actually going to do something a little bit off right now. Okay. I'm going to need you to look at your phone. I'm cur- I currently can't, sadly. I'm going to need you to look at it anyway. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> Why can't you look at your phone? Put it on this laptop. Oh, you're on your laptop? Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. That would actually be better. Alright, so, at the risk of a copyright, actually, you know what, we're going to, so we're going to come back to this, but I'm going to show him real quick the uh, Untitled Music video. So, we'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so we're back, and uh, so that was Untitled's music video. Yeah, that, was, that was, that was really good. I, I, I did appreciate watching that, I mean, that's something I hadn't seen. Yeah. Um, I got notified of it. Uh, while I was at work, which was interesting. But, um... But, yeah, I mean, it seemed like in the background they were doing the, uh, projector kind of paint work. Which I found interesting, because to my knowledge, uh, projector was first. first, yeah. So I didn't expect that. Maybe that was, like, a point of reference to like tie it in either that or they had actually made untitled while making the projector music video this is maybe he did it while he was waiting maybe maybe like he wrote the lyrics down 
I th that would make sense. Would. <sighs> Someone's tired. Look, I woke up three hours ago. Dude, I didn't sleep. <laughs> After uh, I told you I was taking a nap, I slept then and then I haven't slept since. I slept till 11 and then I woke up. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay then. There is there was there was no going back to sleep after that. Um but yeah, I mean That that was good. That was good. <sighs> I can definitely okay. say I didn't expect it. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh no. Saying, that's a, that's a little that's a little <laughs> out of a request, Sean. Look, man. <laughs> there you is already no... knew that was gonna turn bad. Just look, man. There is no <laughs> look, man. We're not no. <laughs> no, no. There is no look, man. <laughs> that's that's <sighs> not how this works. See, if Edwin was here. He would turn this immediately into some sort of gay joke. See, but Edwin's not here because he can't get good. <laughs> because if he could get good, there wouldn't be a problem here. It actually asked me uh, yesterday, hey, can, uh, can I join you guys on the podcast? It's like, I don't know if Pope can handle that. <laughs> uh, no. No, I could, I could not. I, I physically, I, I don't, I don't think I could. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think. Do we have much else to uh to say on this? I mean, we've talked about our health crisis. Uh, did get to introduce a little bit of more Eden into the top podcast yes. because welcome to the podcast uh, if you didn't expect Eden you came to the wrong place sounds about right uh, I could have made a really mean joke there that I'm just going to leave alone <laughs> um, I don't really have much else to say on the, po on the podcast though so. I don't either however there is still something we can do what would that be Get out the book. Get out the book. It's time uh, for the ending joke. Aw, uh, snap. Alright, I'm gonna let you pick the topic again. That's the only thing we can do. <laughs> Alright. Do you remember the topics or am I reading them out again? Let's do... On the topic of Edwin, let's do a gay topic. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Edwin, if you listen to this. Uh, you told him about it, so he probably will. <laughs> he probably will. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, let's listen to some of the... Let's... Uh, <laughs> okay. That one's... That one we've already read. Yep. Oh, God. What about the tree? Yep, that was the... Yep, that's the, that's the one that, asked, that was what I was thinking of. Oh, oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> I'm I'm looking to see what what I'm looking to see what uh what what would be a good one? What would be a good one? Everybody loves Philo Philo <laughs> Five check What What? Five check. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had known I was going to say that. <laughs> At some point during this. Oh, come on. There's not a lot of good gauge. You know what? Just pick pick a number uh, two through ten. Seven. Uh, three, four, five, six. Seven. All right. A man with a bad stomach complaint goes to his doctor and asks him what he can do. The doctor replies that the illness is quite serious, b 
but can be cured by inserting a suppository up into his anal passage. The man agrees, and so the doctor warns him of the pain, tells him to bend over, and shoves the thing way up his behind. The doctor then hands him a second dose and tells him to do the same thing in six hours. So the man goes home, and later that evening tries to get the secondary eh, suppository inserted, but finds that he cannot reach himself properly to obtain the required depth. He calls his wife over and tells her what to do. The wife nods, puts one hand on his shoulder and s to steady him, and the other shoves the medicine home. The man suddenly screams, Damn! <laughs> What's the matter? asks the wife. Did I hurt you? No, replies the man, but I just realized when the doctor did that, he had both hands on my shoulders. Oh! <laughs> oh! I knew this was going to escalate in some form with the doctor. But I was not expecting that. <laughs> Alright, one more. One more. One more. Pick another, ca pick another category. Okay. One more. I think we need another good one. That was a good one. Uh, hold up. Read out, read out some more. Like, read out some of the topics. Business, medical, to husband and wife, Viagra, gay, kid, animal... Man and woman, drunks, political, religious, golf, lawyer, old age, prostitute, stupid people, miscellaneous. Um, topic of Jesus. It's the religious. It's, it's the only religion. Oh, yeah, religion, yeah. One. 97. All right. Pick a number, one through ten. Three? Did you say three? Oh, no, did we just cut out? Oh. There you are. What'd you say? I said three. Okay, sorry, you cut out. Oh. Alright, so. One, two, three. Guy goes on vacation to the Holy Land with his wife and mother-in-law. The mother-in-law dies. They go to an undertaker who explains that they can ship the body home, but it'll cost over $5,000. Whereas they can bury her in the Holy Land for only one fifty. The guy says, we'll ship her home. The undertaker asks, are you sure? That's an awfully big expense. We can do a nice burial here. The guy says, look, 2,000 years ago they buried a guy here and three days later he rose from the dead. I just can't take that chance. <laughs> Only response I can give to that is Damn I'm gonna read another one that was before it Oh god In Jerusalem a reporter heard that an, About an old Jew who's been going To the wailing wall to pray twice a day Every day for a long time He watches him pray and after about 45 minutes He, returned, he turns to leave and she approaches him For an interview Rebecca Smith, okay. CNN News. Sir, how long have you been coming to the Wailing Wall and praying? Eh, about 50 years. What do you pray for? For peace between the Jews and the Arabs. For all the hatred to stop and for our children to grow up in safety and friendship. And how do you feel after doing this for 50 years? Like I'm talking to a fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> When I first heard you say Jew. <laughs> no, this is not going to another Holocaust joke. <laughs> I think that would be in racist. Is there even a racist? There's not a racist topic. Are you serious? Missile would that be in miscellaneous? Right. Really? Right. Dude. <laughs> Maybe that would be in political. <laughs> Probably. All of them are going to be about women because of politics. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> you I'm find sorry that? for any women politicians. I'm sorry. I'm not. One day I want to see a presidential election where it's all women. So then either way we're going to get our first woman president. Yeah, the but then Kanye ends. West is just going to jump in and say, yo, I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> he's running next uh, next election. Not this one, but next election he's running. <laughs> I swear to God, if we actually 
Kanye, imagine if Kanye West president. becomes president of the United States. Just imagine <laughs> this for a minute. Out of all the people we could have for president, Kanye fucking West. I don't believe it. I don't think it could happen. But oh it's gonna God. happen. And then watch, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's also gonna be there. Kevin Hart. <laughs> John fucking Cena. You know who's gonna John win? John Cena! You know who's gonna win? <laughs> Robert Downey freaking Jr. Oh, of course We're gonna have he Iron Man as the president and I'll take it. And they're gonna make like a new Avengers movie and it's gonna be like, so who's the new president this year? It's like, oh, his name's Robert. Who's Robert? Downey Jr. Tony? <laughs> Freaking. They're going to have a Spider Man in the president, movie. In the presidential chair, it's legitimately just the freaking. Spoilers for Endgame. It's the thing at the end of the movie where it's um Spider uh, Iron Proof Man does Tony have a heart. a heart. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you that, imagine just sitting in if, a chair. Like, they actually incorporate this into Marvel, though. And, like, say uh, Peter Parker. Or uh, Tom Holland goes up to meet the president in one of the uh, movies, and he just goes up there, and it's Tony Stark. It's not it's, uh, no no heart or anything like that. It's Tony freaking Stark. It's like I thought you were dead. I was. But then I became president. <laughs> but but then Donald Trump was elected at a presidency, so here I am. Came back. That's I, that. I would love if that was the thing. I would love that. Was so perfect. But uh, are we gonna wrap it up here. I think we should wrap it up. All right. Well, everyone, thank you for uh, listening to the Tryhards podcast. Uh, go ahead and plug our uh, channel names. Uh, I'm Pokey Plays. If you want to go on Night. Twitter, it's uh, Pokemon Rocks Nine. And Jean- I am Genie Boy Games on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, and go follow me on Instagram, Exile. Underscore Gene, exile spelled X Y X Y L E. And uh, I guess so. I'll plug my Twitch is also Pokemon Rocks Nine or uh, <coughs> and uh, that's a six Sean. Yeah. Look, after I talking about COVID, I was about to say after talking about <laughs> COVID for so long, you caught it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> thank you guys for listening in. We'll see you guys in the next one, which is going to be in like two months. Yeah, whenever we're finally out of this COVID nineteen thing, and we actually have a. Whenever we're all dead. Whenever we're all dead. (laughs) Well, uh, (laughs) when we finally get out of this stuff, and we have topics to talk about. uh, But thank you guys. Have a good day, all you beautiful people. We love you. Love you so much. (coughs) Pokey plays. (laughs) Oh, Genie, signing off. Peace.